2022. They call him fast. Now, I don't know if he is faster than Devery. That's going to be an argument. Devery just answered that definitively. Nope. No way. Devery's still talking. What's up with that? Okay. I managed to get an hour radio show out of him. I don't know how I did that, but uh, he's a fantastic guy. And so is this gentleman. He's fast. He's furious. He's fun. The Saints Hall of Fame 2022. Let's check out Fred McAfee. A native of Philadelphia, Mississippi, Fred McAfee played for the New Orleans Saints from 1991 through 1993 and again from 2000 through 2006 after being drafted in the sixth round in 1991 out of Mississippi College. McAfee excelled on special teams, finishing with 210 career special teams tackles, including 115 during his second stint with the Saints. That ranked fourth in the NFL during that time span. McAfee also had two forced fumbles and five fumble recoveries on coverage units as a Saint. Nicknamed Fast Freddy for his superb speed, it did not take long for McAfee to live up to the moniker. In his first stint with the Saints, McAfee played three seasons and he led the team in rushing in his rookie season of 1991. McAfee left the Saints after the 1993 season to play for Arizona for part of the 1994 season before going on to play for Pittsburgh from 1994 to 1998. In 1999, McAfee played for the rival Tampa Bay Buccaneers. In 2000, McAfee returned to New Orleans under first-year head coach Jim Haslett. In 2002, McAfee was named first-team All-Pro and he was a Pro Bowl selection for his brilliant special teams play. McAfee was the first player in franchise history to play on three division championship teams, and he has been affiliated with the team for all nine of its division titles, including the 2009 Super Bowl 44 championship season. McAfee played in 194 games during his 15-year career, including 122 with New Orleans. For his career, McAfee finished with 304 rushes for 1,272 yards and eight touchdowns and caught 35 passes for 211 yards while returning 119 kicks for 2,422 yards. On December 31, 2006, McAfee scored his final touchdown for the Saints against Carolina. On special teams, McAfee finished with the most tackles in franchise history. I came here in 06 with Sean, um, you know, six months after Katrina. Uh, and I just remember this guy. I didn't have any idea really who he was. And he just came to work every day, smile on his face, you know, always working hard, doing everything that was asked of him to do uh, to help this to help our, to help our team. Um, and we talk all the time about knowing who you are. Um, and I, it's the one thing I would say about Fred is like he knows exactly who he is. He's comfortable with exactly who he is. And he goes about and does that, jo does that job the best that he can possibly do it uh, with a smile on his face. And, and, and he's been a great representative for our organization. Uh, He's been a, a great example for the young players. Um, obviously, he's headed up our player development department, uh, a recent vice president, um, and uh, does an outstanding job for us. Uh, and and I'm, I'm happy to say that I've had an opportunity to work with him since 06, and, and happy to say that uh, you know he's, he's become a really good friend of mine. So uh, congratulations to Fred McAfee. Freddie Mac, hey, Sean Payton. Um, first off, congrats. Saints Hall of Fame, much deserved. And uh, secondly, thank you, um, man, for everything. You guys, uh, we were all part of it, what we accomplished and what we're still, what you guys are still accomplishing. But um, man, between being a player and being someone who, uh, who really was close to the program and close to all of us, uh, I can't tell you, I give you a hard time all the time, but I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. 
Since retiring in 2006, McAfee has served in a player development role for the club and is now entering his second season as vice president, player engagement, serving in outstanding fashion. The preeminent special teams player in New Orleans Saints history, a solid running back, an outstanding person and servant for all Saints, past and present, please welcome to the Saints Hall of Fame, Fred McAfee. So Fast Freddy tried to get Fast Deuce to be here. Fast Deuce had to get on a plane and jump to go do an SEC game. So he went to the bullpen and called in the right-hander, who's pretty fast, too. Another one of our Saints Hall of Fame inductees, Michael Lewis, is here today. And, of course, we always appreciate Michael. And, you know, Michael will be finished in about an hour, so stay tuned for that. It's all good. Then Freddy's finished. He knows I got the hook out. It's all good. But it's a real pleasure to introduce a great friend and one of our board members for the Saints Hall of Fame as well to present our Hall of Fame inductee, Devery Henderson. Here's Michael Lewis. Michael. Thank y'all. <clears throat> I'm not going to be long. I, I, I promise this time. It's not for me. This is for Freddie. So I was just up there telling Freddie. Um, I met Freddie 22 years ago when the Saints brought me back and put me on the practice squad. And I can say one thing. Freddie has been, like Debra said, a mentor to me. I always call him my big brother on the field because he took me under his wing. And he made me the guy that I am today on the football field. He the one that kept me in the league. At 29, making 30, and I played seven years, which you got guys coming in at 21, don't last one or two years. Listen to Freddie. Freddie kept me here. As you can tell, he. Hello? <laughs> Freddie, Freddie kept me in the lead, man, by doing the things that he asked me to do. And one of the things he always told me to do when he was um, on kickoff return was he'll look at me and say, hey, you know I ain't catching this ball, right? It come up short, you better be running fast because I'm running up to make a block. I'm not catching the ball. So <laughs> me and Freddie had a little plan back there. Um, they say Freddie was a hard worker. Um, on the field, he was. In the weight room, he wasn't. <laughs> Sorry, Fred, I got to rat you out on some of these things. <laughs> Freddie be the last one to come up in the weight room, first one to leave. <laughs> He'll walk around, he show the, show the strength coaches he was up in there. You look at that front door, that's Freddie gone. <laughs> I never could understand how a guy never worked out. But when he get between those lines, he used to make so many plays. And I used to look over there and it's like, how is this little skinny guy? And I'm talking, I know I was skinnier than him, but I'm like, he gets down there. He got to go against all the big guys because he played number five. So he had to hit all the big guys up front. And nowadays, they don't do all the holding hands and stuff. And I used to always ask him, Freddie, how you be getting past all these big guys? I got a plan, you know, I look at this guy here, and I give him, some, you know, he's going to tell y'all when he get up here how he <laughs> do it. I can't do what he do because there's only Freddie can do it. But having a guy like Freddie with this organization for so long, like I said, he, he came back in 2000, and, you know, me listening to him, and he's doing the things that he did. And you know he must be loving me because I was training in Mississippi, and he brought his kids to me. And when he brought him over, they said, Mike, you train? I said, yeah, I got him. He said, hey, when I come back, I mean, I don't want him. I want him to just go straight to sleep. I said, like that? He said, yeah, I want you to work him. So I was trying to be nice, but I wasn't trying to be nice to him or whatever. So when I asked him, I said, man, how was the workout? Oh, Mike, you did a great job. As you can tell, he got his babies here. Got a lot of family. I always call him family. And, um, it's crazy that I'm up here today because, you know, I wanted to sit in the stands so I can see, you know, the videos and stuff. But, you know, things happened, and he called me to ask me to do this here. I told him I won't take up his little time because I want him to tell you all about all this fast, Freddy stuff. Um, he told me he was fast because um, back in the days, you know, he used to go rabbit hunting with a hammer, not a gun. <laughs> so when I got that story, I was like, for real? He was like, man, I'm telling you, that's how I came fast. I used to chase rabbits with a hammer. He said, that's why they call me Fast Freddy. <laughs> so I'd like to introduce my friend. Oh, these other two guys, I love the deck. Kev found some stories about me by hanging out in my neighborhood. So he's the only person that knows my nickname. Nobody else knows, and he always called me that. So Kev, congratulations. Thank you. Devery, 
that's another guy, you know, I had to take Devry under my wing when he was a rookie. I promised his mom I was going to look after him. And I did, because I didn't want her to come down, because she'd be looking sideways when she come downstairs now. <laughs> she's sweet and all outside, but boy, when she got that look, I'm like, I got him. So let me introduce the last person up here, my man, good friend of mine, 22 years. We cool. Fast Freddie McAfee. Everybody up here is my friends, so uh, you gotta you gotta make sure you know you show them love. They, Kevin was the first person I met when I first got here. So uh, when I first got here, you know uh, we have all these. Uh, I thought there was there was a trick. Him and Dan, uh, Dan Simmons. I thought they were fooling me because I said, "Oh my God, this is this is the Saints facility. This is the old facility on David Drive now." <laughs> and I thought they were pulling a prank on me. So I said. Oh, I know about these rookie pranks, you know. Uh, they, I said, this can't be the real facility. <laughs> this, can't, this can't be the real facility. I just came from Division Two. <laughs> so I remember Chief said, you think we did all of this to fool you? We put all these names on these lockers? <laughs> you think we built this thing just for you to be fooled? This is it. This is the Saints. So, but anyway, I would like to thank Kevin and congratulate Kevin and Devery. Like, like, Devery just said he was faster than me, right? Y'all heard that, right? What's your nickname? What's your nickname? I'm gonna tell you, Boo Boo. What's my nickname? I don't want to talk about it again. Boo Boo versus fast. I think I win now. <laughs> right. So I like, I like to thank Michael Lewis for um, being a great presenter. Um, he did. He stood in for Deuce today. Deuce, where is Deuce? That's what I thought. Anyway, <laughs> that's what I thought. But thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. And um, man, thank you for coming. He drove in from Houston, Texas, to be here for. So thank you, Mike. So appreciate that. Um, man, I do have notes now. I don't. May have a little bit more than Devery, but still, you know, I talk a lot. So, but I just wrote this before I got here. So, let's see what I said. Let's see how it goes. All right. Uh, first of all, definitely, I'd like to thank God. Got to, got to thank the Lord for uh, blessing me far beyond uh, what I deserve. Uh, I grew up in a small town. I need a moment because in that small town, um, my mother, my father, you know, they, you know, they raised me a, along with my other eight brothers and sisters, and um, uh, most of them have passed away. Um, the last couple of years, my mother passed, my brother passed, two of my sisters. Uh, it's been been tough, but. They showed me the right way to do things. Okay. Now I'm here, and I'd like to thank, like I say, thank them for blessing me with the upbringing that I had. We didn't have much. Grew up humbly. And, um, you know, I had a dream of going to college. You know, I didn't know I was going to get there. I was a pole vaulter, by the way. So I didn't see many black pole vaulters at the time. I said, oh, my God. I said, how is this going to get me to college? So <laughs> I was in the marching band. You know, if you've heard that story before, I was in the marching band, and uh, me and the band director got into an argument about him making me play the cowbell. This is not a Saturday Night Live skit. This is real. Uh, made me play the cowbell. It was so embarrassing. Uh, so I went and asked him about it. You know, by the way, he looked like Richard Simmons. That's the truth. Uh, and um, 
He says it's either, it's either the band or nothing. So it was nothing. So, <laughs> so uh, um, football coach comes over and said, "Hey, I heard that you were you and Mr. Hart got into it about the cowbell thing." I said, uh, <laughs> "I said, uh, yeah, coach." He said, "Well, why don't you come out for football?" I said, "I'm too little." He said, "Listen, your brothers were really good at it. Why don't you give it a try?" And I said, "I said, oh man." He said, "But I'll tell you what. If you come out, I'll give you a letter jacket." Gave you this letter jacket. I said, Oh, a letter jacket. I'll come out for that. So it made me the kicker. I couldn't kick, couldn't make a field goal to save my life, but I could kick off, right? First game, we had like three other running backs get hurt, and I begged him to put me in the game. Please, coach, just give me one shot. I, you'll never regret it. You'll never regret it. He said, How many plays you know? I said, I know five plays, coach. <laughs> I know toss right, toss left, option right option left and draw. He said, no, anybody else other than Freddie want to play <laughs> running back? And then somebody said, hey, coach, he's good at hot ball. I don't know if any of y'all to play hot ball. So it's like, let's say if I, if I have the ball and you're the rest of everybody else, I will have to run through all of you to try to make a touchdown. I don't know. Some people call it kill a man with the ball, murder ball, pick it up and run it, whatever. But I was good at that game and gave me an opportunity. His name was Neil Hitchcock. He was head coach. He said, I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you an opportunity, but if you fumble the ball, just get on the bus with the other team and don't come back. <laughs> I said, wow, okay. I said, don't worry, coach. I'm about to average 15 yards a carry. You don't, it's my first time. I didn't average 15. It was more like 12, but still. <laughs> that was the beginning of something that I never would have imagined, you know. And uh, here I am today. And I, like I said, I've been super blessed. And uh, two of my blessings here today, my son, Frederick. He's a running back at Ole Miss. Yeah. And uh, Frederick, Frederick has been winning the scout team player of the week every week. You know, the only week he didn't practice was when they played against LSU. <laughs> and you see how that turned out. <laughs> he's, fine, he's a finance major, so I'm so proud of him. And my beautiful daughter, Jayla, she's here. Uh, she's a senior at Mississippi State University. She's uh, majoring in nutrition. Technology, apple of my eye. She wants to uh, one day be a, a, a gaming company owner or something like that. Maybe nutrition involved. Okay. <laughs> and um, I like to thank them for just you know, putting up with Daddy. I go just like Dean was saying about you, like going back and forth from town to town. I, I was go back. I would go back and forth to Madison, Mississippi, all the time. So just to see them. But uh, thank you guys. I love you. And then I also have my niece here as well, um, Johanna. Um, she goes to Texas A&M Corpus Christi. She's majoring in clinical laboratory science. So she wants to be a, a scientist one day. She got a full ride, by the way, just for academics. So. Sorry about all this crying and stuff, all right? <laughs> but they've been my biggest blessings, my biggest supporters throughout. You know, uh, uh, first of all, uh, I want to also thank Ms. Benson and Mr. Benson. Uh, man, they've been best owners in team sports, uh, hands down. They ain't even close. They ain't even close. Like, you know, win, lose, or draw, she's there for us. She's always uh, been that shining light to us all. I just want to say thank you, Ms. Benson. I also like to thank Dennis Lausch and Mickey Loomis. You know, uh, uh, I know I, I know they gave me more time. You know, I'm just going to. I got it. I'm not Lance. I'm a, I'm a, I got it. So, <laughs> so, um, but a quick story about how I came to actually work for the Saints after the whole uh, career ended. Uh, I was at a gas station in Madison, Mississippi, and um, and I and I see this car. I'm at the. It's a gas station, but it has a Subway sandwich shop as well. And um, I said, who is that driving a Mercedes Benz of that size in this town besides me? <laughs> <laughs> and out pops Mickey, right? And I, this was in my 16th year. So I'm going to my 17th year. And I said, oh, you know, him and Sean had already called me and asked me about a job uh, with the Saints. and. Uh, uh, but they told me to take my time with it, and um, but 
that was a sign for me. That was a sign seeing Mickey at that gas station. So I go to Mickey and I said, I said, Mickey, what are you doing here? He said, oh, we just need some gas. We're on our way from Memphis. And I said, wow. I said, tell Sean I'm going to retire and I'm going to take that job. He said, for real? I said, yeah. He said, when are you going to retire? I said, today. <laughs> I retired on the spot and I, I've been with the Saints organization ever since. So <laughs> thank you, Mickey. <laughs> uh, also, I want to thank Ken Trahan and the uh, selection committee, uh, every, all the board members, uh, all of my friends and stuff that work. I got so, I see so many faces here that I know and I love. You know, uh, all the people that work from the Saints. I see Danny Lawless. That's my guy. He got them handcuffs on. Everybody watching. <laughs> <laughs> everybody from Dean. Everybody. Jay. You know, amazing. You know, uh, listen. You talking about a hard worker? I, the stuff I do on the field is nothing compared to what Jay does. He's there day in and day out. He's the vice president of everything. That's what Mr. Benson said, and I agree with him. So, all right, let me see what else I got that wrote down here. I still got some stuff there, Bree. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So, um, like I said, I grew up in Philadelphia, Mississippi. Um, I was fortunate to go to a small school, Mississippi College. Uh, I was going to go to Southern Miss, um, Kevin. That was my dream. I wanted, I didn't want to go there because they were Southern Miss. They had a great announcer, right? And this announcer, you, you remember Sammy Winder? Sammy Winder was a running back, and they would do this playback show. And uh, they would say, uh-oh, here comes Sammy. <laughs> I wanted them to say, here comes Freddie. <laughs> here comes Freddie. But how it happened was, I don't know, somebody else from Mississippi College was there and they said, hey, Fred, why don't you come to Mississippi College and get, you know, give us a try? I said, I've already been to Mississippi State on a visit. They said, no, not Mississippi State. I said, oh, I've been to Ole Miss on a visit already. They said, no, not Ole Miss. They said, you ever heard of Boston College? I said, yeah, Mississippi College. I said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, Mississippi College. <laughs> Go there and um, Make a long story short, I broke a lot of records. Uh, I told a coach that I was going to break every record at that school. He said, son, there's been a lot of guys that come through here that work just as hard. You got to, hey, you just just, just pump your brakes. Three years later, I said, hey, Coach Herzog, he said, I know, you broke all the records.
us and they do it for me.